Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your man, Jay. And right now, what you see in front of me is two hard drives, two terabytes apiece from Seagate. These are the Bag Up Plus Slims. And I just kind of wanted to open these with you guys, show you what you get in the box, and show you how you can expand your storage on your iPad Air or iPad Pro. All right, let's get into it. So first off, before we get started, I just want to take this time to say thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching if this is your first time. And if you are somebody who's returning to the channel, I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like the videos because it will help the channel grow. Do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss any video. And make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can get the little notification whenever I put out a new video on this channel. All right. You're probably asking yourself or wondering, why did I choose a hard drive instead of a solid state drive well number one the reason i chose a hard drive instead of a solid state drive was because i saw these and they were on sale two terabytes for 59 dollars a piece when typically the one terabyte are about 50 bucks so that was number one reason number two i don't get caught in the hype with solid state drives and hard drives even though i do know that a solid state drive is faster than a hard drive they all do the same thing at the end of the day and that is to save bag up and store your files so um, the timing and how fast they go really doesn't matter to me because I'm not in a rush. So I don't mind just letting my files bag up, you know, to this hard drive, even though it's a little bit slower than the SSD. I don't mind just letting it sit here and do, do its thing while I do something different. I don't really mind that. The third reason why I opted for these was because I just wanted to make sure that my iPad was clutter free. Now, I do have a 256 gig iPad that can store a lot of different things, but at the same time, I want to get in a habit now to keep it clutter free. So whenever I get done using my files, let's say when I'm done editing videos and I render the videos, I want to be able to store those videos on a hard drive and keep all of that stuff off of my iPad so that I can use it and it can be fluid and not get too cluttered and just become a, and just become a mess. Cause you know how it go, you know, with file management, it can become a mess to where it takes you a long time to sort that stuff out. So I want to start sorting it now and having a good foundation now. So that's what it is. So let's go ahead and open this box, see what's in it. We'll connect it to the iPad. We'll move a few files here and there so you guys can see how it works. And then we'll go from there. But basically, this is what you're going to get in both of them. Uh, on the inside there, you're just going to get some, some literature and stuff like that. You're going to get your USB 3.0. I'm pretty sure that's 3.0 cable. And then right here, you will get the... Oh, how do I take this out again? Then right here, you'll get the actual hard drive, which is uh, in a little plastic coating. But I'm not going to open that all the way because, like I said, this one is not mine. So I just wanted you guys to see that color in case you saw it on the shelf and you kind of wanted to see what it looked like in person. So we're going to go ahead and open mine in its entirety and see what we're working with in here. So this is what it looks like when you open it brand spanking new uh here's the literature milo create hopefully you guys can see this stuff so we got that uh you also have adobe creative cloud photography plan just some literature for you guys right here hopefully you guys can see this and that's it for the inside of the box and then oh there's some more Portable Bag Up Plus, well, Bag Up Plus Portable, Bag Up Plus Slim. And it just kind of tells you, you know, how for Mac and Windows to get started. Move that. And just another little piece of literature here. Pull the hard drive out. Sit that there. And the cable. So let's go ahead and pull this cable out. So we rocking with the black cable. USB 3.0, and this is what the actual hard drive looks like. Let's go ahead and get this taken out right here. So this is what it looks like right here. Looks really nice and sleek. It is very, very small and portable. Hopefully you guys can see that. You got your little LED indicator about right up in here. And yeah, it looks, looks really nice for it to be two terabytes and to be this small like this. Hopefully you guys are getting a good, a really good view of this. It looks really nice. I actually like it. 
So let me get my USB-C hub and then we'll plug this thing in, transfer a file or two, and then we'll wrap this video up just so I don't have to hold you guys too long, all right? So I have the Anchor Hub, USB-C hub plugged into the iPad. I have the cable plugged into the hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the hard drive into the hub, just like this. And as you can see, the light came on, letting you know that it's working. It is spinning up and I can feel it. So what we're gonna do is take the Switch Easy Pencil right here. Shouts out to the Switch Easy Pencil. And we're just gonna transfer a file or two just so we can make sure this thing works. So hopefully you guys are able to see this. So let's go into our files app down here. And I can see that the Bag Up Plus has popped up there. And there's a few files already on it as far as like the startup stuff, warranty for Mac. You got the warranty, you got the startup for Mac, and you got the startup for Windows. Hopefully you guys can see that. So what I'm gonna do is go here on my iPad and I'm gonna go into LumaFusion. I go into one of my folders here. And we'll go into my movies and videos folder. And I'm gonna probably do something that's not so huge because I don't wanna hold you guys too long. But we'll transfer, let's say I have a gig right here, so 1.8 gigs right there. So we'll transfer that. And yeah, let's see what happens. We'll transfer this. So I'm just gonna hold on to that. I'm going to hit move. And I'm going to go down to my bag up plus which is down here at the bottom hopefully you guys can see this click my bag up plus and I don't have a folder or anything so I'm just gonna hit copy and let's see it work if it begins to take too long guys I'll speed the video up but we'll see how long it takes I didn't put a timer or anything like that but you know we'll see how long it takes I'm hoping it doesn't take too long even though I know it will, I know it's, you know, a little slower than a solid state drive, but it is what it is. You know, I'm just going to be happy to happy with the fact. Oh, look at that. OK, so a gig that was that was less than 40 seconds, I, I'm assuming. So let's go to the bag up plus to see if it's already there. So, yep, the bag up plus it is already here. This is one of my bench press videos. Uh, let's see. Take a quick look and we can actually watch it from the hard drive. Let's see. Quick look. Hit the play button. Yes, sir. We can even watch it from the actual hard drive. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. And yes, guys, I run a fitness channel. My wife's a personal trainer, and I've been running a fitness channel for about 10 or 11 years now. And I lift a lot of heavy weights. All right. So, all right. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go back. So that was one file. That was two gigs. That took less than. 40 seconds so let's go back to the ipad we'll try one more file just to make sure actually you know what we'll take that file and we'll put it back let's see how we, how the transfer speed is coming from the hard drive back to the actual ipad let's see how that actually works so let's take this file and we're going to move it i'm going to go to i'm going to put it somewhere where i can just kind of know exactly where it went so we'll go back into luma fusion and we'll go to I'm gonna put it in uh, the audio folder just to put it somewhere different. So in the audio folder, hit copy, and let's watch it work. I think last time it took about less than 40 seconds maybe. Uh, so let's see here what happens going back to the iPad. Oh, that was less than 25 or 30 seconds. So let's check on the iPad. Let's go in here, let's go into the uh, user media audio folder. And here's that video right here. Video is right there, quick look. And that video is right there. So, as you can see guys, this is going to be a great addition to your iPad setup, especially to my iPad setup, because what I can do now is go through and move everything over to the hard drive so that I can free up the space right here on my iPad and take advantage of my 256 gigs and not have my iPad so cluttered, which is not cluttered now, but like I said earlier in the video, I want to make sure that, you know, I get into a habit now of making sure it's not cluttered and having some good file management going. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been your man, Jay. This has been the Seagate uh, Bag Up Plus. This is a two terabyte model. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like because it helped the channel grow. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment so I can know that you're in the building. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.